Just going on a little bike ride. <laughs> What's my <we> face, Grumpy? <laughs> Dog's gonna be all right. Yeah, they'll be fine. I'm not gonna leave them for an hour or so. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. <laughs> I've been on my bike for a bit. Cycling in rouge, eh? <laughs> Remember, Zoe, righty tighty, lefty loose, eh? Even on bikes. Doing a great job there. Woo! No idea where we're going. So bikes here have got your own cycle lane. There's parts that you can't go on. There's no entry for bikes. You can only walk and then there's like cycle lanes. Just for bikes. It's great. Loving this. It's a nice building, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Google it. They call it right? the Gate of Ghent. Yeah, it's an entrance for foreigners. So it's an entrance for us, isn't it? We're a foreigner. Uh, yeah, it was part of city defences. It looks good. in good uh, condition, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there, there you go. You took. Nice boats. It's like a swing bridge, that Zoe. Swing bridge. So this one's a. Uh, Another windmill, love. It's like you. No idea where we're going there. <laughs> Just having a ride back. I don't want to leave dogs too long. Bruce will be howling. Only like leaving them for like an hour. So uh, it's been nice though. Quick bike ride out. We're just going for us last night into Bruges. Uh, we waited while it's gone dark so we can get more night filming done at lights and everything before we leave tomorrow. Woo! So uh, we'll do a bit of filming. Too pretty. Yeah, beautiful. Not quite tonight because it's Sunday night. I'm hoping. Absolutely. Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Are you taking me for some muscles? You got my muscles, love. You don't need that. Brian was saying how busy he gets at Christmas and I can imagine that. Oh yeah, but I don't think I'd want to be here, I think it'd be too busy for us. Yeah, apparently thousands of people come here guys for a Christmas yeah. market, so I do think we've got it at the right time, don't you? Yeah, yeah, and it'd be colder. <laughs> I can't deal with thousands and thousands of people, mm. I mean it was busy yesterday, weren't it? Yeah. Later on it was, not to start off with, but it's a lot quieter now because it's Sunday night, although yeah. I'm expecting most of the places to be shut. Well, no. So I don't know if these uh, beer places will be open or not, we'll soon find I'm out. We're going to check out this pub where his uh, friends recommended uh, Susan and Stephen, aren't we? Are you going to find so, that? Yeah. <laughs> this is Zoe. I mean, how many times have we walked down here now? Four times? And she still goes wrong. I turn down the right path and she carries on walking up a dead end road. I mean, oh dear. So pretty. And chocolate's in that window. I still haven't had any chocolate. I know, you're so, you'd be alright with Lidl's chocolate. Mm. I didn't get you any. I just love all the smells coming from these places. The chocolate. 
Oh, and waffles. Oh dear. So nice. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like it's on chocolate. Could be a load of bulldozer. Beautiful, isn't it, Zoe? Absolutely, yeah. Going tomorrow. A lot quieter now. Yesterday that had been full. Yeah. It's cold as well. Yeah. Now that's what you call a chocolate house, that. Back to van. We were hoping to go have some more Belgian beers, but they were all shut. I'm saying all of them, the ones that we've been to or, or were interested in, they were shutting at six o'clock and I think last one were half past seven. Uh, so we'd missed them. Um, and there were some other ones, but it looked a bit posh and we got dogs with us, so we didn't like asking. So we headed back to van. It started raining anyway now, so I think we've done the right thing there. Uh, so we're up in the morning and I think we're going to start filling up with water again or trying somehow. And uh, we are heading off to, I still need to know how to pronounce this, it's called Ypres, Ypres, that's where we're heading next guys, uh, the forecast isn't very good, uh, they are forecast snow here over the next few days, really cold temperatures, so we'll see how we go, it may change what we do, as in heading for the sunnier climbs sooner rather than later, if it's going to be this cold and uh, obviously bad weather so uh, we'll see how it goes with the weather and everything and uh, we'll wing it and uh, we'll keep going guys and we'll still keep filming everything and uh, we'll see what we do in the morning morning just after his next destination just leaving Bruges shall we John? we have I enjoyed it here it's been right good loved it yeah my favourite bits what would you say? Belgium beer. Belgium beer, yeah, definitely. Didn't have enough of it, love. I know. No. Well, we might be able to get some at this next place. Where are we going, John? Ypres. Ypres. I always struggle to pronounce it, and I don't want to say it wrong. This is where we park tonight guys on a free park up that Zoe found and I'm heading down here to the Menin Gate. I've put it on Google Maps and it's down here it says 10 minutes away so I'm hoping to head down here because they do the last post here at 8 p.m. here every single night. 365 days a year and they have done it since 1928 never miss once can you imagine that so uh, I'm interested in this Zoe's not so bothered because weather's not so great it's raining and she's cold and it's it upsets her this sort of thing so uh, I said well I'll I'll go down you know and check it out and see if there's a pub there and uh, she's got dogs protecting her she's locked van up and uh, I'm just going to have a wander down here and see what we can find. So the Menin Gate at Ypres obviously is a world famous monument and it was a gateway that tens of thousands of young lads marched through to go to the front here and never came back. Between 1914 and 1918 over five big battles here a million lads lost their lives here that's unbelievable isn't it and at the Menin Gate there are names of nearly 57,000 soldiers um, that are still missing they've never found the bodies so uh, 
and they're inscribed on all the walls now. I do know it's having some work done at the moment. So uh, I think they're scaffolding up, but I'm gonna go down here and check it out anyway, and uh, we'll see. Ypres was completely destroyed in World War One, and it was basically rebuilt to similar buildings of the same, um, what's the word, blueprints. In 1928, it was completely flattened by uh, German artillery and there weren't much left of it, so they did rebuild it and uh, and that's when they built the Menin Gate. There was an original medieval gate there uh, that the Menin Gate is actually built on, so uh, it was always the gateway and uh, they built this as a memorial. And tomorrow we're hoping to walk to the Yorkshire dugouts, they call it. Uh, it was restored in 2023. They was building an industrial area and they uncovered some original World War One trenches. So archaeologists have come in and excavated it all and uncovered these original trenches and it turns out it's where Yorkshire Regiment was and the lads that fought in them trenches were from Sheffield, Halifax, Leeds so obviously I'm from Sheffield and whilst they were building this industrial area they uncovered 200 bodies that were then uh, taken and uh, with all the right military honours and reburied at a cemetery so uh, yeah and they uncovered lots of things in trenches that's now at the museum the Flanders Museum so uh, I'd like to go and see that tomorrow it's about an hour an hour ten minute walk from here so uh, yeah oh it's coming up the Menin Gate's coming up oh wow and there it is it's coming up wow yeah, you can see it's having a lot of work done to it. But the last post is at eight o'clock. You can hear a load of people in there. It's very echoey. So uh, I know they do shut the road. The police shut the road every night at eight o'clock for the last post. Wow, well, look at this, here it is. This is only, it's only about 10 minutes from where we parked up down this road. It is a free park up guys, you can park here overnight. We did check it out. The campsite's shut this time of year, I think we've said. There is an air, but Zoe says, well check this one out first, it's free park up. There is a lot of school kids go past, because there's a school nearby, but it's no trouble at all, really. No trouble. Oh, flowers. This will have been from Remembrance Day. So these lions here, there's one there and there's one on the other side as well, are replicas of the original. The originals, after World War I, got sent to Australia. 13,000 Australian soldiers were killed here uh, and they would have marched between the two lions, as they all did, through the Menin Gate and so they were gifted to Australia. Um, because a lot of the names of the Australian troops have no grave and their names are inscribed on the walls of... They can hear me. You can see all the names, look. All up the walls. Everywhere. Up there. Wow. I'm not making you feel sick. And down the other side.
can't imagine that, can you? Tens of thousands of young lads marching through these this gateway, coming down this road here. I mean, this this place would have been levelled at that time. It would just been obviously derelict, real artillery shells. There'd have been nothing left of uh, Ypres as they came through here. And they came through here, marching to the front, and never came back. Wow. So you imagine walking through here and you can hear all the artillery shells going off and you know where you're going. Straight down here, straight to the front lines. Bloody hell. Wow. Passchendaele is about a two hour walk from here and there's a big cemetery there. Uh, that was the biggest kill zone. They think up to 900,000 were killed there. It's where Germans used um, poisonous gas for the first time so um, I don't know if we'll get time to go there or not we'll see it's a pity it's all covered up but these works are going on until 2025 they're restoring it wow and this is Ypres all rebuilt some lovely buildings again guys they did try and rebuild these like originals. Look at that tower there. Not as much Christmas lights here, but it's that's understandable, isn't it? Bearing in mind where we are. Look at that. It'd be rude not to try a pub, wouldn't it, while Zoe's not here, but don't tell her. So I just come in here for a pint. I'll only be having one, 10 euros a pint, so it'll just be the one, I think. <laughs> just heading back now. She only let me have two pints. I don't know whether that's because it's really strong beer, and they only let you have two, or she was shutting, I'm not sure which. But at 10 euros a pint, I thought, hmm. <laughs> Not cheap, but anyway, heading back and uh, see what Zoe's up to. I bet she's in bed. Horrible weather, it's absolutely chucking it down. That building that I showed you with a big tower that is the cloth, is it the cloth museum? It's a museum, anyway, um, for World War One. So I need to go and check that out. There is a price to pay on entry, uh, so. Apparently, Ypres made its money from cloth and that was originally built in the 1300s but got flattened in the World War I so they have rebuilt it and it's now a museum so we'll go and check that out tomorrow I think if weather's better, hopefully. Ah, uh, back in it van. Oh, it's raining, it's horrible tonight guys. I think you've got snow at home, haven't you? Well, I think it's coming here at some point, but I'm hoping to be further down when that happens. I'm hoping Zoe's going to cut my hair. It's getting a right mess. All sticking up. She keeps saying she's going to cut it when we've got time. So busy. Bloody hell. Yeah, so we're hoping to get off walking in the morning and uh, we can see if we can find these Yorkshire digouts. I'd like to see that and uh, we'll see. Uh, Zoe finds it all very sad. Uh, picks up the vibe of the area and it is very sad and it, she becomes very down about it all Just because she's upset about it all to be fair, which is which is fine It's just the area that we are in and it's one of those things we wanted to come to uh, Just to pay respects really because we're here so um, Yeah, it's, it's least we can do in it. So I wanted to come here and From here, I think we're moving down uh, who knows where, Waterloo I think, and then we're going into France and south of Spain, yay, but well, it's warmer and sun's out hopefully, and warmer. So um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the vlog guys, or found it interesting, and um, we will pick this up again in the morning. This is Monday night guys by the way, so you know how current these vlogs are, I'm, I'm filming one day and they're out the next day, so you'll get this on Tuesday as I filmed it on Monday. Hope you're safe, keeping warm out of snow, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. We are an hour difference from you guys. 
we are an hour in front of you so um that's a time difference from from belgium to the uk and please like and subscribe if you haven't already it really does help us channel grow and helps to support me and zoe doing what we do and uh, we'll catch you later bye